Good morning, I'm John Delano and welcome to the Sunday Business Page. This morning, Community Bank enlarges its footprint in southwestern Pennsylvania. President and CEO Pat O'Brien will tell us why they're so confident in their business plan. Then, could there be a better way for you to travel back and forth to work? Anthony Hickton, ride-sharing programming manager for CommuteInfo.org, joins me to talk about the resources and information they have available for public transit, walking, biking, and ride-sharing. And then we'll mark the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I and learn why Pittsburgh played an important role in that conflict. Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall CEO John McCabe and curator Michael Krause will help us pay tribute to the American Doughboys. It's all next right here on the Sunday Business Page. This is the Sunday Business Page on KDKA-TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. Community Bank says that it lives its name. It operates 16 offices in Green, Allegheny, Westmoreland, Washington, and Fayette counties in southwestern Pennsylvania. Seven more locations in Brook, Marshall, Ohio, Upshur, Wetzel counties in West Virginia, and one office in Belmont County, Ohio. Its services to customers range from retail and commercial lending and deposits to commercial and personal insurance brokerage services through Exchange Underwriters, its wholly owned subsidiary. And its Community Bank Cares program assists charitable giving in the areas that it serves. We're so pleased to welcome back Patrick O'Brien, President and CEO of Community Bank. Pat, great to have you on the show. Welcome back. John, thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning to you. Let me ask you about Community Bank because, you know, we're so used to all these big banks in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. You know, the PNCs and the Citizens Dollar. I mean, there, there are a number of them. But Community Bank is kind of new. You're not really in Allegheny County, but you're all around us. So what exactly is Community Bank? I'll be happy to tell you that, John. Uh, it's a 117-year-old banking company founded in Carmichael's, Pennsylvania, a lovely little village in eastern Greene County. It grew from there, uh, greater in Greene County, into Washington County, and into Allegheny County. John, you will be surprised to know uh, that we are in Brookline. You are? We oh, are. Oh, I'm delighted are, to know that. And I've been there for a good 20 years with Brookline. our location there. Great. And just two months ago, we opened a new loan production office in the North Hills in Warrendale, right Wonderful. along Route 19 in the HBK building. Great, great. Now you're expanding beyond the, the Pennsylvania borders as well. Tell us about that. That's correct. Uh, earlier this year on April 30th, uh, we merged with a bank in headquartered in Wheeling, West Virginia. So we have seven offices now in the state of West Virginia and one in Ohio in Belmont County. And it's all under the umbrella name Community Bank. That is correct. Which I think is really interesting because it says something about banking. We have become so used to these giant institutions where you can't talk to a human being. You have mm -hmm. to dial through 1,400 different numbers and then you, they tell you to go online for sure, everything. Sure. Um, is Community Bank different? Well, uh, John, it is. Now, we do have all the technology that we need to compete in today's environment because customers do expect to be able to do business in uh, this electronic age that we now live in. Sure. However, personal service is at the height of what we do. Our people really care about taking care of their customers every day. And it starts at the top. Our directors, 15, all our business owners, homeowners, right here in southwestern Pennsylvania and in the panhandle of West Virginia. So we know the lay of the land. All right. You know, it does seem to me that uh, when you pick a bank, you want to know that there are branches around or places that you can operate. But that's less important in the electronic age yes. than it used to be. Yes. So is banking, can anybody in Allegheny County bank at Community Bank and they, find it very convenient? They certainly can, yes. We have a full suite of online banking products. Our internet banking services rival any of our larger competitors out there. So it's very easy for our clients to do business with Community Bank, whether they uh, live close to a branch or whether they're in our footprint, but just a little bit distant from that. Right. I want to ask you about community cares, but before I do that, let me ask you, for those who are watching this show who come out of the business world, and we've got a lot of folks like that, mm -hmm. 
Are you there to provide help and assistance, loans, capital to those who are either in startup businesses or need, uh, need assistance as they grow their businesses? Uh, we certainly are. That's what we do every day. Our primary focus is on the commercial side. Uh, we do a great job with our consumer clients as well, but we have a strong fo focus in commercial lending. We have services and professionals who can really work with a business owner who either is starting up their business or that business owner that wants to invest more and grow in our market area. Why would I want to come to Community Bank rather than one of those very big banks that also say the same thing that you say? Well, uh, it, it starts with our people, and I cannot tell you enough about the people of Community Bank, the level of professionalism they have, certainly, and the experience that they have. But when I talk about Community Bank cares in a few moments, uh, it transcends into our people and the way they think about their, cus their customers and what's in their hearts every day in delivering right. our services. Tell me about Community Bank Cares. What is it that you do with this, well, this particular uh, part of your bank? I, I think it speaks to our heart uh, of our, our corporate culture. We care about all of the, the communities we serve. We know there are charitable organizations that need support and our customers want to support them and we want them to do more business with us. Mm -hmm. So when they do more business with us, either with deposits or loans uh, at the right qualifying levels, we're able to make a donation, not to the charity of our choice, but the charity of their choice. Oh, really? Yes. So basically the customer dictates where charitable giving from your bank goes? That's exactly right. And we've made a significant difference in all the markets we've served. In the last uh, little over two years, we've given back more than $200,000 to all of those individual charities that our customers really care about. Really? So uh, give me the dollar increments. Are we talking $500 contributions? $100 at a time. And if you were to look at the lineup of nonprofits and churches that we've been able to help, that list covers a huge page. It's well over a thousand different charities and churches wow. that have been helped. Now, do you have to be a substantial customer of Community Bank in order to direct some money to a favorite charity or church? Or you you do like? not. You do not. A home equity loan, a certificate of deposit, a money market account, all of those uh, at $25,000 or above, all would qualify for a donation to the charity of our customer's choice. Now, I think that's unique. I'm not sure that I've heard of other banks doing it quite like that. I think that's, uh, obviously, that's great. Well, the, the banking industry is a generous industry to all the communities that they serve. All of our competitors are as well. But we think it's one that's unique and really speaks to how we care about what our customer is thinking about as well. Right. Well, Pat O'Brien, thank you so much for coming in and telling us more about Community Bank, a growing bank in this region. Sounds like a great institution to get involved with, and thank you again for sharing with us. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for having us, John. When the Sunday Business Page continues, finding innovative ways to travel around southwestern Pennsylvania, the story of CommuteInfo.org. Stick with us. The Sunday Business Page will be back in just a moment.